All right, by now you have heard about the dangers of staring up in the sky during Monday's solar eclipse. It can cause serious eye damage. But the problem is those eclipse glasses are flying off the shelves and they're really hard to find. Money editor John Delano takes a look at what you could use instead. There's been a run on these solar eclipse glasses, essential for viewing Monday's solar eclipse. These are like gold at this point. They're very hard to find anymore. They've, they've pretty much sold out everywhere. We're, we're sold out of them here at the Science Center as well. Ralph Crew, Program Development Coordinator, says the Carnegie Science Center has sold thousands of these glasses. And this weekend, the demand has surged. Every day, hundreds and hundreds of people are trying to find more of them. The local stores can't help. The Walmart Supercenter in Robinson sold out a week ago, as did many others. Amazon shows glasses available at triple the price, says Wikibuy, but delivery dates are well into September, too late for Monday's eclipse. Crew says there's another possibility you probably haven't thought of, welding goggles. The welding goggles can work. Uh, they have to be rated at a 12 or higher. Uh, I'm not a welder, so you'll want to double check. Uh, they basically need to be very, very, very dark, so you can't see through them at all, except for something as bright as the sun. Remember, sunglasses won't work, and eye damage for you and especially your children can be severe. Finding these solar eclipse glasses that allow you to look at the sun without damaging your eyes has become next to impossible in Pittsburgh. But the good news is that there are some alternatives, like this pinhole viewer that anyone can make in about five minutes. Take any cereal box, put a white piece of paper at the bottom, on the top using aluminum foil, create a pinhole for the sun at one end. Look at the other end to see an image of the eclipse. And some libraries do have these glasses. The Sewickley Public Library, for example, will hand out 75 glasses beginning at 1230 on Monday. And other libraries have glasses to share during the clips, as will the Carnegie Science Center. John Delano, KDKA TV News.